Another community gets the chance to run its own centre. This time, it's the Sydney Water Centre, or the SID, in Worthing, as it's affectionately known. The SID has been handed over by West Sussex County Council to the local community, who now have big plans for its future. It's another example of how people can come together to create literally their own community hub. Uh, well, we've worked with them obviously through their business plan and how they're going to run it and, and look after it. And uh, that business plan has always got to be robust before we transfer it over. So we've been working with them for a couple of years. But this is a terrific thing for the community. There's been an awful lot of good work that's, that's taken place here, and it's given us an opportunity to really embrace and use the entire building uh, for what what it needs to, to, to serve the community. And it doesn't take long to see what keeping the SID means to the people who use it. It's home to a wide range of clubs and organisations for both the fit and the not so fit. Well, we are basically a community centre. We have lots of different classes going on. We run classes in the gym for people who've had heart attacks or strokes or have particular health problems. For me, it's kept me going. Without coming down here, I'll probably be dead by now. I'm 90. And. Uh, I've been coming for about the last four years and, you know, it makes you steady on your feet, gives you confidence. And I went through the hospital system and they recommended that I came on here to Janet and I've been coming here for nearly 15 years and it's really given me my life back. We also have a general gym usage which can range from, I think our youngest gym member is 13, our oldest is 92. And you come here and you find there are lots of other people in the same situation as you are and suddenly you find the fellowship is as imp almost as important as the actual exercises are because it helps you up here. They've all been through the same sort of problems so they know what it's about. They know that they can always reach out and find some support from one of them. It's just such a lovely little centre. Um, I only live around the corner, but I knew of it before I moved here. My dad lives in Worthing. We used to come here and practice our circus skills. Um, and, and it's just it's, it's just such a lovely, lovely kind of unusual centre. It's not like your usual little community hall. It's kind of got more heart to it, I feel. They do lunches here, so people that are on their own can come here and enjoy social life down here as well. I personally only play table tennis, thoroughly enjoy it, and hope it will continue in that way. Well, we'd like to see it improve. We'd like to see it blossom and grow. We want to have meetings with the whole community. We want them to tell us what they want, and we'll be asking them for their input. We think it's a good idea to hand over the facility to the local group so they can continue to do the splendid community work they've been doing. We've uh, made sure that the roof is in good condition, the heating system, the wiring is up to date. So we've handed over to them a building that's fit for purpose right from day one. So we will be looking for support from local businesses, from any grants that we may be able to access, can help the SID to grow and blossom. The first major transfer was when the Use Centre at Haywards Heath was handed over to a community partnership. Now there are exciting challenges ahead for the Sydney Walter Centre as another community steps up to the mark and determines its own future.